Hello dear traders, you're watching the latest weekly review of financial markets on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. The US main stock indices closed firmly higher Friday, booking a second straight session of gains after a stronger than expected report on the labor market. The Nasdaq Composite Index advanced to 7,688.39. Over the week, the Nasdaq gained 2.4%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose to 24,456.48, rallying by as many as 164 points at its best levels on Friday. For the week, the Dow went up by 0.8%. The S&P 500 index closed higher at 2,759.82. All 11 primary S&P 500 sectors finished higher, with the healthcare sector as the biggest gainer after Biogen enjoyed its best day in 14 years. The S&P posted a weekly advance of 1.5%. The U.S. created 213,000 new jobs in June, above the 200,000 level that had been expected. Separately, the unemployment rate rose to 4% from 3.8%. On the political front, the Trump administration officially imposed tariffs on $34 billion of Chinese imports at midnight Eastern Time, and Beijing implemented tariffs on the same value in U.S. goods, as promised. For weeks, stock markets have stuck in a tight trading range amid concerns that the global trade war was developing. Shares in Biogen Incorporated jumped by a whopping 20% after the company announced positive results from a Phase II trial for an Alzheimer's treatment. The surge represented its best daily gain since February 2004, according to WSJ Market Data Group. At the same time, shares of JP Morgan Chase closed up by 0.3%. JP Morgan said it had no plans to buy into Deutsche Bank after reports that the troubled German lender had caught the attention of potential buyers. The US listed shares of Deutsche Bank slipped by 0.1%. And this concludes the latest weekly financial review on Insta TV. Thank you for watching and see you back soon.